Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Scrap Mechanics. Hope you guys are having a good day. My day is going pretty darn well, except for the fact that I have the PAX Plague. That's right, I came back from PAX and uh, not feeling so hot. You guys can probably hear it in my voice here a little bit, but uh, you know, we'll be alright. Uh, we always are. So what I'm going to be doing today is uh, I kind of came up with a design in my head last night while I was sleeping. And uh, what that design is, is that design is something for uh, tank treads. And uh, I, I kind of, I was working on it last episode, as you guys probably saw, and uh, I thought that I could probably work on it a little bit better. Now, I'm not 100% sure on how it's going to work. So that's what we're going to kind of work on here today is uh, trying to figure that out. So um, what I'm thinking is we're going to do something similar to like we did yesterday where we'll have wheels that are steered or I guess not steered but driven by buttons, right? So we'll put a couple of buttons on here. Uh, I'm actually going to take those off for now. And the way these buttons are going to work is they are going to uh, control a couple of controllers. And so what we'll have, let's say we'll have something like this. And that'll come out to about, about there. And then we'll have this come all the way back. Or actually, let's uh, let's delete all this. And then we'll have this, and then this right here will come all the way back to here, okay? And then on the inside here, can you put wheels? Yes, you can. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to put the wheels kind of like in this general location. And how's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, three, four. All right, and so from there, uh, we can actually do one more. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and we'll do five. I was only going to do four, but we can do five. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll do one of these, and then we'll just go three back. Put this on again, and we'll come all the way back as far as we can. And then we'll kind of do the same thing. So right there. Nope, actually, it's right there. Yep. We have this one here, one, two, three, that's four, and then one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, and the way this is going to work is we're going to have some, some ones going forward and we're going to have some going backwards. So we're actually going to hook these up to electric engines because tanks... As you guys know, tanks are more so about the power that they provide, more so than the uh, the speed, right? So what we're going to have is we're going to go ahead and connect up this one here, this one here. We're going to connect one side to all five ones, if I can. Okay, and then we'll connect this side up to this. Actually, that is that one. I like their connection system in this game. Uh, it can be a little wonky at times, but it's all right. We'll connect this one to here, this one to here. All right, and now uh, what we're going to do is we are going to have these set to a controller. And this controller, I guess I'll put the controllers back here. Why not? Probably you'll end up needing a couple of them, but we'll just, uh, for now, we'll take this one to there, this one to there, and so we will want this to drop about 15 degrees, uh, maybe actually 45 degrees, and then number two will need to go negative, uh, actually this sh could work just like this negative 45 degrees and we'll turn that off okay so from there uh can i connect this button up to this too i can awesome okay so why don't we take this out that side is is stiff but we'll be okay uh what we'll do awesome all right so that is exactly what i wanted to do 
it's just going to raise up slightly. Uh, we'll hook up the other side here real quick. Shouldn't be that tough. Lock that in. Lock that in. Uh, we'll need to go... Actually, let's just do this again. Uh, positive 45, and we'll get a negative 45. And then we'll connect this button to this guy here. And so when I do this, it raises up ever so slightly. And then, I don't think I've connected the engines. No, I haven't. Not yet. But when I'd power the engines on now, it would probably do a circle. But let's let's try it real quick. Uh, wait. Why can't I connect? Oh, because you're connected to the buttons. Gotcha. Alright, so now we'll kind of kick these on here a little bit. So that shuts them off. And then we can do a turn. Alright, it's not very fast right now, but, you know, it's the general idea is getting there. So now uh, we can go ahead and put this up. And what we're going to do from there is we're going to need another... Uh, another section here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put one of these in. And then we're going to go another three back. And get another connection there. And then we're going to go back as far as we can again. All right. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll put a connection, a joint connection like that. Take it as back as far as we can again. And if I can delete this, the two sides should just fall straight down, which they did. Perfect. All right. And then we'll just put that back up and then we'll connect our little bits here. All right. So there's that. Ah. Getting stuck. Kind of getting back into the uh, routine of recording has been kind of tough, especially with being just a little bit sick, a little bit under the weather. I'm not feeling terrible. It's just my nose is stuffed up. You know, I'm a little achy, but uh, when when all you do is sit at your desk and make videos for a living and you have to go and you walk around a convention floor for like 10 hours a day, it's uh, it's kind of funny how uh, how fat you really feel. That wheel wasn't connected, so we'll connect that one up. So, yeah, if any of you guys went, you'll have to let me know how you're feeling. Because I am definitely feeling like I got my butt kicked. All right, so that's connected. We'll come over here to this side. We'll get this one. This one. This one. This one. And then this one. And then we'll swap all of these. Okay. So, uh, what I'm thinking, you know what? I'm kind of thinking that the buttons with these are not right. Like, maybe I shouldn't have those on the engines. Like, maybe the engines could be connected to the seat. That way I could c control those with forward and back. We're still connected to the lift. Um, and then we'll just go... Oh, that's already up one. Is this one up one? Yep. Okay, so all these are already up one. Good. All right, and then so from here, we'll have to just go here and here. And we'll have to do another one. We'll do 45. Actually, negative 45. And then 45. And then over here, we'll go there and then there. And then we're actually we're gonna do the same thing, but I'll swap them here in a second because that would cause it to raise upward. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pull this out. And so if I want to go forward, like right now, it's all it's all jacked up, right? And so I want if I press one and two, this is gonna turn left, right? Let's, let's press forward. No, this is going to turn to the right. And if I go backwards, it turns to the left. Okay. So now, if I want to engage n numero three and numero four. Let's do three. 
and four. Uh, let's three. All right, so let's swap these. All right, so we're going forward. All right, so this is a little wonky. Um, it's 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 working the way that I want it to, but I think I want to switch all of these because I think it would be better if like the outer treads were going one way. All right, so that's that. Uh, no, that's not right. Alright, so what, what are we doing now? All of those are going... Oh, we still got... No, we still got this one down. Okay. Okay, so this is actually me going in reverse. Um, so now that's me going forward. Okay. So we're going to have to switch a lot. Um, let's switch switch all these. Like so. Okay, so the inner ones should be going backwards. Outer ones should be going forward. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, so let's go ahead and bump up the power. Like so. Oh, that, that actually worked. So that should let me turn. Oh gosh, remembering which ones are which is tough. Uh, let's let's rewire some of these real quick. All right, so I want one, two, three, four. So one. All right, so it's actually wrong still. Excuse me, I would like to hit this button. All right, so everything's flat. All right, so this is one, this is two. Okay, that should be three, and that one should be four. Okay, so if I want these two down, I can do so. Now I can turn around. And now I can go forward. It's not bad. I mean, it's a start. It's it seems pretty cool to me. It's it's definitely not the fastest vehicle in the world. But uh it's not bad. It's, uh, getting timing down is definitely a little tough. If I just drop this, what happens? No, nothing really. I mean, if we're honest here, like, I like it. I think it's pretty cool for a, for a tank design. We'll take this out and we'll take this out. That'll kind of keep the binding from happening there. I can't really do anything about the binding happening there. See, I think we're getting just a little bit of binding right there. But this should go backwards. Yeah, it does. But that's not bad. Like, I, I like it. I think it's pretty darn neat. Now, um, as far as... As far as, like, going up hills and stuff are concerned, let's, let's try this.
Let's see. I'm I'm assuming that we're gonna bottom out, but who knows? Oh, we're not really bottoming out. Yeah, we, I mean, we're kind of are. Yeah. All right, so why don't we try this? We can do some little bit of different uh, maneuvering here with some different tires. Yeah, and get a little bit closer. Yeah, all right. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn this. I'm going to go this way. I, I think it's pretty neat. I do. I really do. I think it's pretty neat. Um, I think we could use some guides, like kind of in the front, to kind of keep the front end up. So why don't we mess with that here a little bit? Uh, maybe we can just take this, and then over on this side, we can kind of do the same thing. Um, and that's kind of towards the front. I mean, it's not really towards the front. So what's another thing that we can do is um, uh, we could have a mm, little section come off here like this. And then I think we're like, yeah, we're just shy of a block. So we could do, let's, let's raise this thing up actually. And then we grab this like so. Now, I don't think this is going to work because of how tall it is now. Oh, you know, we're, we're lifted up, but let's try and turn now. Yeah, that really just messes with our turning mechanism. So, yeah, that's not going to work, but it's all right. You know, like I said, it was working uh, fairly well. Uh, you know, we did get caught up on hills and stuff like that, but, you know, that is kind of what tanks, I, I think, you know, when I think of a tank, I mean, there's, there's treads all the way to the front. Don't get me wrong. Like, this is not a perfect representation of a tank, but I, I think, uh, I think it could be fairly good. Like, I really, I, I like it a lot. Um, we can even, like, take a wall down here. So let's try this. And then we just do one of these. Uh, is that going to affect anything? No, it is separated. Good, good, good. Yep, just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's actually drop all of our treads. There we are. And we just come all the way down to there. Very nice. Um, and then we just have our little uh, doorway here. Like that as well. Come up here. And yeah, or I mean, like I said, it's not the best thing, but I, I really, I do think it's pretty darn cool. And uh, I look forward to messing with at least the design a little bit more. Like, I think it could be pretty useful, especially um, with the way the treads are. We could probably figure some pretty cool stuff out with that so it does it looks like we're getting a little bit of binding in the back here let's uh let's do this take that out i think that spot right there and then that spot right there yeah that was uh that was kind of our our tension point um, but if we, you know, if we extended this back, let's take this out, let's take this out. Something like this instead. Oh, no, 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 no. That's going to connect. Something like that. And then uh, we can just run up here to the front again. 
Let's take this bar out. Yeah, nothing's connected. Nothing binds up. You can turn around. I feel like I should almost hit. See, I'm hitting one, two, and we kind of get that lean. I feel like I should almost hit two, one. We still get a little bit of lean, but it's not bad. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. This one was this one was cool. Um, I think uh, for tank treads, you know, it's it's not bad. Um, we could uh, we could even like put a gun on the top of here or something, and, and something where people can rotate and um, pseudo fire shots or something. But uh, I think this is pretty neat. So. All right, guys, my name is Drax. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more daily videos. Have a good one, guys.